recording again. Okay, so just to do it again. All right, so I have my object here. Now I want to morph it some more. So I go to the tube, click on this, go to FFD, and this creates something like a, a cage around the object with these points that you're able to manipulate. So let's move this inside of the tube and let's actually move it. Can I move it? Coordinates. So let's move this so that it's in the center. Once again, this is too bright for me. So options, configure back take it down like this all right so this ffd is right here let's put it in the middle oh perfect probably even scale this down okay So now what we can do is we can grab points with this uh, rectangle selection and we can move them and it like kind of morphs the object. So just to see what it's doing here. So I just grab those points and now I can morph this object like that. Um, but also I can grab an individual point and move it like this too. So we can get some interesting ah, shapes. All right. So what I'll do here is take these, take these, T to scale, pull it in. Um, ooh. Just gotta be careful with it. So pull these right here. Take these on the side, T to scale. All right, I have them scaled out at least. So it's really a matter of this top part. Also, let me see if I can add some more divisions to this lattice. And so the more divisions I add, the more points I have for manipulation. So let me try this. T. Mm. You know what I might do? I might just get this shape right. Right here. And then go back to this tube. Mm. All right, now I'm thinking of something else. I'm thinking about ways to lock this, but I'm not 100% sure now. What I mean is uh, to keep this steady. Oh no, I guess it stays with this lattice. But if I want to edit it afterwards, that's what I'm thinking about. So if I go to points, this, Hmm, it seems to lose its shape though. So I guess the best way, uh, 
have to investigate that more. Because what it would be cool is, is if you could take this, you can do this in my take this, freeze it so it's now like frozen in whatever position this is in, and then manipulate it some more. But I don't know if there's a way to do that.